Hi, I think people are coming in. That's awesome. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> I'm just going to take a, a minute or so, make sure everybody is signed in. <laughs> All right, I think look like everyone's here. All right, so let's start then. So welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Gadu Doshin. So I'm a Spring Forest Qigong master and teacher. And we have been to uh, Lake Harriet Spirit community a few times to give a talk. So some of you uh, know me and some of you are very new to. Uh, so I'm, let me introduce myself. So I've been doing Spring Forest Qigong uh, uh, since 2008. And I have you know, practiced the Qigong for a long time and then I, uh, Five years ago, I started working for Spring Forest Chigon as a staff healer, as an instructor as well. And during the time, um, I got named as a Chigon master. And last year, you know, in the midst of a pandemic and all the stuff, I decided to leave the company and start focusing on my own private practice. So I have a company called Heart of Tao Resonance Art, where I teach and also give Chigon healing. So. Today, let's, today is uh, Easter too, right? And it's a beautiful day in Minnesota. I don't know, not everybody is from Minnesota, I understand, but it's gorgeous day out there. And it's a springtime. And it's really, springtime is a time of renewal, right? It's a new beginning. That's a beautiful thing in our life that we can always start again, begin again. You can actually start anytime, anytime you want. You can always begin again, but springtime, it's just the air. It's such that, ah, this is a time we're going to start again. You know, it's a time to plant a new seed, you know, just get rid of some old stuff, clear the field so you can grow again. And so let me, today I'm gonna to talk about a little bit like that and how we can use joy in our growth. So let me explain first about uh, what I do. So Qigong is a Chinese energy healing technique or energy balancing technique, but Qi is, it's kind of like a force, life force that with intelligence. And let me explain a little bit more. And gong means to practice. So qigong is a qi practice. So in our practice, it's really there's a movement, there's a meditation, and we explore our, it's really a more of a lifestyle, how we can live in such a way that we can stay healthy, stay happy, and hopefully live longer, you know? But it's, sometimes we put people are healing like, you know, like a fixing, like you know, most of the Western medicine approach our body like our body is made of machine. So they approach kind of like as a mechanic. Oh, there's something broken. So let's replace it or take it out, you know, or put something in you so that it helps to fix that thing. But healing, especially Qigong healing is like gardening. There is of things that we can do to create the perfect condition. We put the nutrient, we we'll cultivate, plant the seed, give water, all that. But then there is a moment of nature because you can't really control nature, right? So at the end of the day, you have to really open yourself and sun or God or whatever it is, Help me to take care of this. Because I, at the end of the day, I don't really have a control. And so Qigong have a spiritual aspect of it to open yourself to something bigger. So this Qi, you know, is there's, a, there's so many different definitions, but my teacher, Master Chun Yin Lin, he said Qi is a life force or energy 
with intelligence and consciousness. So it's not like a energy like electricity or a Wi-Fi signal, you know, because the electricity cannot fix the wiring, right? But qi can heal you, can repair your body, because that's what qi is supposed to do. So then qigong, the purpose of qigong is not about fixing something broken, but actually more about putting you back into a natural state of being. So your natural healing ability, which because qi is always in you, that's what your body is always doing. So you're cultivating this natural healing ability that you already have. So it's really not about putting you into something, but it's really a going back to your natural state. And how to cultivate this? Because in our life, right? Like it's, we get sick because somehow in our life, the chi is supposed to be flowing like this, right? Smoothly, freely. But because of our life, sometimes habit or things that happen in our life, all these little blockages that happen in our body and then now this thing is just bumping into all over the place and not flowing. So in our Qigong practice, we'll actually do movement, meditation, and really focusing on opening our heart so that Qi can flow better, flow more smoothly. And one of the way, and probably the most important thing in it is to focus on your unconditional love. Master Lang always talk about, you know, unconditional love is the most powerful healing energy in the universe. But what is unconditional love, right? Unconditional love is a little bit different from our emotional love. You know, the love, you know, right? the most basic love is our love for our family and our friend and community, you know, our co-workers and neighbors and all that, that helps us going. Without that, our society is not gonna stay, right? Everything is gonna fall apart. But then this is still a conditional love where we say, I love you because there's always a reason for your love. I love you because you're my family. I love you because you're my best friend. But then also in us, there is non unconditioned part of love. If you walk on, you know, if you're walking on the street and someone in front of you just fall, you will go and say, hey, are you okay? Right? You're not gonna say, am I related to you somehow? You know, like I'm your distant cousin or Facebook friend or your neighbor's name. You don't do that, right? You just say, hey, are you okay? Because we know in our heart, this unconditional love is already built in. If we see people in other countries suffering, we feel bad. If we see other animals suffering, we feel bad because this love is always there for us. But unconditional love, so is the love without attachment. In some way, love for the sake of love, love for no reason. So later we're actually going to experience it a little bit. But then there is a unconditional love and there's a universal unconditional love. So this love, we call it love, but it's really, it's not like an emotion, love. But in our body, there is a, you know, in Qigong, we say our chi is flowing in our body. And this chi is keep our body going. So that's the life force that moving us. And life force that keeps trying to heal us too. But also there is an external expression of chi. We call it chi field. So it's like a energy field. But then this energy field just expand beyond our body. And because of this energy field, this chi field, we are all connected. That's why we can communicate 
you know, if you've been to a country where you don't speak the language, you can still get by with like doing all these gestures. You know, somehow we just do this and then we know like, ah, oh, you want something to eat. You know, you just pointed out the nether region, uh, region and then people know, oh, you need a bathroom. <laughs> you kind of know that, right? Because we can communicate because there is this chi field connecting us to each other and connecting us to everything basically. And because of this connection, when you recognize this, there is this connection in the entire universe, when you feel it, ah, this connection is making us what we are. This connection is getting us, make us life going. And you realize, ah, that's the unconditional love of the universe. This force that connecting us and keep going. Oftentimes we feel disconnected, especially this time of you know pandemic, you don't get to see people. And then you start feeling like isolated. But at the end, you know, at the same time, because of these connections through internet you're now connected to anybody from all over the world simultaneously. So, but then, you know, this feeling of a connection is sort of interesting, right? We feel connected because we see each other, but it's not like it's a real person, right? I'm just this cut up little square on this screen that just keep moving and talking at the same time but you still feel the connection because all these connections are already built in. We all need to do is just focus on it. So that's why we can do healing on each other. You know, in Spring Forest Qigong, in the higher level, we have a distance healing where we only need the information about name, you know, like where they located, maybe an age, you know, maybe a, like a gender, you know, sex, male, female, so this basically this minimum information and I can send the energy to the person because it, those little information just help me to focus on the person in a distant land and just make the connection. And these things are possible because we are already connected. But in our daily life, we take our life for granted in some level because it's so easy, right? Because you don't really have to think about to go on living for most part until you become really sick. And then, oh my gosh, I didn't realize to just to breathe was such an amazing thing. Just to be able to stand was incredible. Just to be able to go outside and enjoy the sun is such a precious thing. But you don't have to wait until you get sick. Do you actually feel that? In our daily life, we start feeling how incredible it is to be able to live. And joy is an emotion that connected with this, our life. We feel joy so that we continue living. <laughs> So when you feel joy, in Spring Forest Qigong, we say joy is happiness for no reason. You know, we are usually happy about something. You know, happy that, you know, someone gave me a present, happy that I got raised, you know, happy I found uh, my favorite something. But joy, we need no reason just to be here at this moment, it's joy. So in order to feel joy, you have to really realize what amazing thing is our life, you know, what, how amazing our life is. So let's do a little breathing exercise, okay? And then later I will guide you a longer meditation, all right? So just close your eyes, just sit, find a comfortable position and sit. And just close your eyes. 
and just feel your body. How your body feel right now? If you are seated, you might feel the connection to the floor. Some part of your body is connected to your chair. Or if you're lying down, your whole body connected to floor or bed or a couch or a chair. Feel how that feel. Notice how your body is breathing. You don't need to control your breath. Just observe your breath. As your body breathe in, notice your breathing in. As your body breathe out, notice your breathing out. Know that your body knows how to breathe. So you just let your body, that's the thing it does best. As your body breathe in, as your body breathe out, you observe your breath as if you're sitting in the back seat of a car instead of being a driver. You're enjoying the view. You just see the scenery passing by, sort of with a lazy focus. Like, ah, here come the road sign. Ah, here come the McDonald's sign. Like that. And notice how your breath feel. If your breath is long, notice your breath is long. If your breath is short, notice your breath is short. If your breath is slow, notice your breath is slow. If your breath is fast, notice your breath is fast. If your breath is deep, notice your breath is deep. If your breath is shallow, notice your breath is shallow. And just observe your breath without any judgment or without trying to control. You observe your breath as is at this moment. You are not thinking about what breath was yesterday. or what breath is going to be tomorrow. You 
you're only feeling and noticing your breath right now. And you observe your body like that, without judgment. How your body feel. If certain part of your body feels good, just notice, ah, it feels good. Certain part of your body feel a little tight, just notice, ah, there is a little tightness there. If you feel a little ache, some pain, even then you say, oh, there's a little ache, some pain. And just feel how your body feel at this moment. Okay, take a deep breath. All right. <laughs> so this is, a, you know, kind of a basic mindfulness training and to be in the moment. Did you feel? Your breath just coming in, like, huh? Isn't that sometimes surprising? Like how you how you're breathing <laughs> without you even thinking about it. But then when you get stressed out, you know, our body gets so much stressed, then we don't breathe that deep. But as you continue to feel your breath like that, you naturally your breath starts slowing down and get deeper and slower, you know, and more even too. So that's why the deeds mindfulness practice is important. So I'm going to actually guide you in a little movement and then let's do a little movement and then do a little meditation. So using this technique, but then at the same time, you know, start feeling your body a little bit more when you start moving your body. Okay, so Qigong practice is very simple and doesn't require much space. So, so if, you, if you may, just stand up. If you need to sit it, uh, you know, feel free to do that too, by sitting too. Okay, open your feet about hip width apart. Okay, bend your knees a little, relax your shoulders. And just take a moment and feel your connection to the earth. Again, bring your focus to your breath, focus to your body. When you're standing, you know your connection to the earth even more. Feel there is a downward motion of gravity. And the earth is pushing you up. So that's why you're not sinking into the earth. And when you're simply standing, but notice how you are standing. Feel your feet that connecting to the earth. 
and your ankles, your shin, your knees, your thighs, your hips, how these bones connect, how your body balancing, and your pelvis, your spine, shoulders, your arms, hands and fingers. Notice your neck and your head. As you notice your body is never like a straight line, like a stick. There's a slight curvature in it. And this curvature is basically balancing act. It's a natural intelligence in our body so that there is no single point in your body that have all the pressure. So there is some intelligence that working for your body, for your body to become like this. Notice all the muscles and connective tissues keeping you in this position. how your organs are stuck on top of each other in such a way that keeping you balanced and also keeping you grounded. The weight of your arms and your shoulders also helping you to balance you. And there's all these nerves in your body that send in the information into your brain and the brain actually send the information back. So if you notice your body is constantly balancing, adapting, adjusting. And think about this, for you to be able to stand like this, how much of this subtle coordination that happening inside you? The earth is about 4.5 billion years old. And it took that much time for us to be here right now standing. And universe is about 14 billion years ago, years old. From the Big Bang, with just gigantic explosion that happened 14 billion years ago or so, till now. All these transformation have happened and got us to this moment where you stand like this. Notice again how you're breathing. How automatically your body breathes in and out. The simple activity, it seems so easy. But think about it. You can go without food or a drink of water for a couple of days or even some people goes on for a month. But without breathing, you're not gonna last too long. So this simple activity of breath is keeping you alive every moment. As you know, life began on this planet under the ocean. And it took billions of years for things to start breathing. So in our body is this connection and this transformations of the universe and the intelligence and wisdom 
that we accumulated over billions of years. And now start bouncing from your knees up and down. And just feel this comfortable vibration in your body. Just tune into the feeling, what feels good, what feels comfortable. You know, these feelings are extremely, completely subjective. What good to you may not be the same for what good to me, but we know what good for us. So just feel what good to you, what feels good, what feels comfortable. And just find the most comfortable speed and sizes and intensity of this bouncing. Continue to observe the natural breath, but also you let the in-breath coming in through your nose, out-breath going out through your mouth. And in this vibration and your breath, you let go of any extra tension in your body. Notice how your body is balancing. As you relax, you may notice your body might adjust itself and find the most comfortable positions. Sometimes, you know, we have a habit in our body that actually keeping us into much more tense position. Some people have their head, you know, postured in such a way that bring more pressure on their neck and shoulders. But if you actually let go, your body will start finding the comfortable position in your body. So feel your body is loosening completely. So the intelligence in your body will start working for you even more. Okay, now bring your arms up over your head. Okay, relax your hand. You can just let your hand hang down and relax your shoulders. So feel your shoulders sinking down. As your hand almost feel like a floating up. In this position, again, continue to feel what feels most comfortable to you. What feels most enjoyable? Just sending the vibration in your body and feeling, just breathing. It's pretty enjoyable. So just feel that. Sometimes, you know, some of us practice different type of healing modality. And sometimes we get caught up in the techniques and what we supposed to look like more than what we supposed to feel like. But here you can just let go and just feel. Don't worry what you look like. I mean, no one look good doing this. Everybody look a little silly. That's the point. <laughs> so you don't take yourself too seriously. 
So you can let go and just get comfortable. Okay, now bring your arms down. Continue bouncing now, gently swing your shoulders side to side. When you do, make sure you're doing it very gently so you're not throwing your body around. It's more like feeling your spine's releasing. You know, our muscles and joints and all these things actually like spiral. So this gentle spiral movement helps to release all these muscles and joint and our organs. Continue to send the comfortable vibrations. All right, so come back to the center and gently come to stop. And take a moment and feel how your body feel now. You feel, you might feel more connected to your body. Or you may feel something moving inside, the sensation of life. All right, so now find a comfortable position and I'll guide you in the, to a meditation. I'll take a question at the end, okay? And just find a comfortable position where you can keep your spine straight. You know, you can be standing or sitting or lying down, whatever you feel comfortable. A gentle smile on your face and close the eyes. Feel how your body release down even more. You can gently press on your shoulder just a little bit. And as you do feel there is a string attached to the top of your head, someone's pulling your spine up. So then feel the little balance between this upward motion and of your spine and downward motion of your shoulders. And bring your focus to your heart. And feel there is a light shining in your heart. And focusing on this light, take three gentle deep breaths. And with each breath, feel this light is getting bigger and brighter. Bigger and brighter. And your whole body is in the light.
Feel every part of your body is filled with this beautiful light. If you have a hard time seeing light, you can also focus on the vibration or sensations in your body. In this light, I want you to think about someone or something that you love so much. Can be your family or friends or your favorite thing memories, anything that you love. Make sure to pick something you love so much and feel how much you love. And notice as you feel this beautiful love in your body, how your body feel. When you think of the person or the thing you love so much, how your head feels, how your neck and your shoulder feels, how love feels in your arms, hands, and fingers, how love feels in your spine, in your back. How love feels in your chest, in your ribs, how love feels in your torso and all the inner organs, in like your lungs, your physical heart, liver, intestine, kidneys, bladder. How love feels in your pelvis, in your legs, in your feet and toes. Feel from head to toe, every part of your body is filled with this love. And now in this feeling of love, you let go of the object of your love and just continue to feel love for the sake of love. Just continue to feel the sensation of love in your body for no reason. Feel this unconditional love, love without attachment.
and feel with each breath this light of unconditional love is start to expand. Feel this light filling up your house, your home. Feel your connection to your family. And feel this love expand bigger. The light is getting brighter and brighter. Your unconditional love fills up your community, your town, your city. And feel this light of unconditional love expand even bigger. Bigger than your country. Bigger than this world. Feel how you're connected to everything in this world. Every being on this planet through this unconditional love. And feel this light continue to grow even bigger, even brighter. Spread to the entire universe. Then feel you are in the universe. And the whole universe is also inside you. You and the universe are one. And feel in this oneness your unconditional love become one with universal unconditional love. How we are connected to everything in the universe. And this connection create this connection you transform
And in this feeling of oneness, feel joy for being here right now. Feel joy to be alive. Feel joy in each breath. How amazing that we can breathe. How incredible to breathe in. How incredible to breathe out. and feel joy in every sensation you feel in your body. Our body's intelligence is always letting us know when we need to change, when we need to bring other way of life, other way of life. All this sensation is there to guide you. And feel joy in each thought and each emotion. How amazing that we can think. We can imagine. We can create things that's not existing yet. And we can feel all these emotions. All these events that happen throughout the history of the universe somehow we came to this moment to feel, to think, to breathe, to be. Our life is such a miracle. and just feel joy of being here. And you surrender yourself to this feeling of joy. Now gently bring your focus back to your heart and see the beautiful light shining in your heart.
and the slide to feel you're connected to everything in the universe, every moment. All you need to do is quiet down and open yourself to the connection. Now, anytime when you feel you're stuck, you come back to this moment of connection and you simply begin again. We can start again. We can begin again any moment in our life. But the nature, the spring energy is helping us to do that even more so. So feel joy in this new life that start at this moment. Feel excited about what seed are you going to plant? What do you want to see? What flower or what fruit? What tree do you want to see in your life? And focusing on this light, take three gentle deep breath. So slowly open your eyes and rub your hand together like this. You can rub between your fingers and you can massage your face like that. So start from a bridge of your nose up to your forehead, come around side of your face. Like you're making a heart shape around your face. <laughs> All right, so I think my time's up. So I will stick around a little bit for question, but um, you know, it's a time, there's a lot going on in the world. You know, sometimes you only see, you see on the news, it's kind of a grim news. So it's important for us to stay connected to joy. You know, sometimes you see those children in the war zone, just smiling and running around with full of joy. If they can do it, you can do it too. <laughs> so stay connected and stay feeling joy. Stay, you know, feeling joy every moment in your life. All right. So thank you so much, everyone, for come and join. And have a wonderful day. All right.